Hi, welcome to Take 5, where we daily consider devotional thoughts from Oswald Chambers' book, My Utmost for His Highest. Today is June 22nd. The title of today's devotional is The Unchanging Law of God. With what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Matthew 7, verse 2. Chambers opens with, Focus verse is not some haphazard theory, but it is an eternal law of God. Whatever judgment you give will be the very way you are judged. Judgment is a two-way street. It's a mirror reflecting the manner in which you will ju be judged by your own standards. Chambers identifies it as retribution. There is a difference between retaliation and retribution. Jesus said that the basis of life is retribution. With the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Over and over again, OC emphasizes the point, the way you pay is the way life will pay you back. This eternal law works from God's throne down to us. Judgment falls upon us, not only due to our judgmental attitude, but for our deserving it uh, due to sin. Romans 2 verse 1 reads, Therefore you have no excuse, every one of you who passes judgment, for in that which you judge another, you condemn yourself, for you who judge practice the same things. The hypocrisy of judgment, that for which you judge others, is also found in you. Judgment is not only for acts of sin, but for an attitude to sin. Chambers states God looks not only at the act of sin, but also at the possibility of committing it which he sees by looking in our hearts. O.C. points out the obvious as to why we can see sin in others. The reason we see hypocrisy, deceit, and a lack of genuineness in others is that they are all in our own hearts. We can identify what we see in others due to it existing in us, and we condemn others so to cover our own shortcomings. It's much easier to condemn than to correct ourselves. To move in a more positive direction, Chambers points out that the greatest characteristic of a saint is humility, as evidenced by being able to say honestly and humbly, yes, all those as well as other evils would have been exhibited in me if it were not for the grace of God. Therefore, I have no right to judge. Humility and pride are polar opposites of each other. Pride was birthed in the Garden of Eden at the suggestion of the devil that by doing what God forbade, they would become like God and thus have no need of him. Humility is found only in taking on the likeness of Christ, who laid down his life in obedience to the desires of God. I've grown up knowing a quote that perhaps you too have heard, there before the grace of God go I. Google revealed the source of it, not really being certain, but the meaning of it is quite evident. Were it not for the intercession of God's grace in me, I would have grown more depraved as a drunk and drug addict. I would have cheated more people worse and taken more advantage of more women were it not for His grace. Each homeless person I see could be me. Each person that I see who are unable to use their arms and legs could be me. The reality is, due to God's grace, I am truly blessed beyond measure. Chambers presents a question that should cause each of us to stop and shudder. Who of us would dare to stand before God and say, My God, judge me as I have judged others. Think of what O.C. asks. Would you be comfortable with God judging you by the same standard with which you judge others? Do you want God to look upon you in light of your own standards? In the shallow way you measure up those around you, ask yourself, do you want God to judge you by your weight or age, your skin color or appearance? Check again what is said in Matthew 7, verse 2. Chambers closes with, Yet God judges us on the basis of the miraculous atonement by the cross of Christ, the miracle of being brought back at one, the meaning of atonement, to be at one with God by the sacrifice of Jesus upon the cross. This is amazing grace. If you haven't yet read today's devotional, I encourage you to do so, for it will enhance the time we spend together. It's available free online. And now may God's grace and peace be ours as we seek to live our utmost for His highest. Thanks for being here today. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye now.